Thanks for joining me for this episode of Brutal Battle Beer Break. Uh, The beer we're going to try today is actually by a brewery I've never had beer from. Uh, This one came compliments of my friend Matt Harvey out in Chicago, Illinois, so thank you, Matt. Uh, This one is by Shorts Brewing Company. Uh, Like I said, I've never had any of their stuff before. They are out of Elk Rapids, Michigan, so says the bottle. Um, there's no ABV on this bottle, but it is an IPA, so I'm assuming somewhere around 6-7% alcohol by volume. So, uh, this one is called Huma Lupalicious IPA, if you can see there by shorts. It's got a nice hop on there. Um, honestly, the, uh, you know, the label's not anything too eye-catching or interesting. It looks pretty bland, but, you know, that doesn't mean that the beer's not good. I have heard good things about... Uh, shorts, so I'm hoping that that holds true to what I'm about to taste. Um, I will say that I can see there's there's a decent amount of sediment in the bottom. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you probably can't, but try try real hard. Um, there's a bunch of sediment down there at the bottom. Probably some some hops um, comes out. It's a very you know orangish coloration to it. Not much of any head. Plenty of large bubbles in there though. Give it a swirl. This is pretty cold too, though, so some of the uh, some of it might be a little bit muted on the flavors and actually the scent because if things are pretty cold, they can you know make the beer and it happens with wine too clam up. Um, so I'm giving it a little extra swirl to you know warm it. I get that citrusiness. I get some grapefruit, but I get a solid um, malt presence as well which uh, is giving me a little bit of like some hay notes. It actually says a complex malt and hop theme park in your mouth. So I am definitely getting the malt. Uh, It's not one of those crazy, just straight up hop um, types. I get um, a little bit of like a candied orange rind nose on it. It's a little sugary type scent with the citrus. It smells like some nice hoppage, though. Let me try it. Mmm. Okay. Definitely, there's a decent amount of bitterness at the end, but it doesn't linger too much. I definitely get that kind of citrus uh, up front. I get, like, the candied orange peel that I was talking about because there is a little bit of a sweetness to it. There's plenty of citrus. But the citrus isn't extremely vibrant like West Coast IPAs typically are. This is kind of more uh, an in-between between between like an East and West Coast IPA because it has probably a little less malt and more hops than your typical East Coast IPA, but it's definitely a lot more muted on the hops uh, than your West Coast IPAs. Um, It's got really nice scent to it. I feel like it smells like mosaic hops in there. It doesn't specify what hops are in it, but um, I feel like I'm starting to be able to maybe pick out mosaic hops in some beers, and I feel like... This might be it. It has like a little bit of like a caramelly note with the citrus to it. But I mean, it smells good. It mm, tasting pretty solid if you like that kind of mixture. Um, Actually, the bitterness at the end is starting to build a little bit. It's starting to get a little more strong, which is taking me a little more from like, I like this beer to I'm a little more neutral about it. I'll have to see how it how it does when it warms up. I have a feeling that the citrus notes are going to start coming um, to the forefront even more, uh, and the nice caramelly malts uh, are going to do the same, and the bitterness will start to kind of die down a little bit. But um, pretty well constructed, in my opinion. Um, it's just I'd like more hops myself, um, and maybe bring the malt down just a tad bit, and the bitterness, the bitterness as well. But like I said, you know, as it warms up, it might, you know, kind of write itself. Anyway, um, so if anyone liked what they heard, I'd recommend picking up uh, some Shorts Brewing Company beer. This is uh, definitely worth checking out at least once. Um, Tune into the show, please. Uh, Brutal Battle, uh, you can get it on BrutalBattle.com or you can get it on iTunes or Stitcher. Um, Send me an email. If there are any beers you want to see me try maybe on this or on the show, uh, you can let me know. It's BrutalBattlePodcast at gmail.com. also have a Facebook page. Look for it. And uh, Twitter, I am at BrutalBattle. So thank you so much, everyone, and I will see you next time.